Okay, we have begun a recording. Oh, your phone. <clears throat> yep. Don't worry about it. Okay, welcome back. We got to Oh my gosh, we had to do this. No. Don't let them see. Why? I just don't let them see. It's all... It's too wide. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it, Julia. <laughs> I mean, I could have... Yeah. <laughs> Did you up the volume for the game a little bit on this one? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Do you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Welcome to Merry Gear Solid 2. Ghost, Ghost of Christmas Past. <laughs> Father Christmas. <clears throat> Los bigotes perfectos. <laughs> I don't. Los bigotes perfectos. I think something like that. Okay. Previous ops. Mary Gear. Should I turn this down a little? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Sorry. Okay, yeah, there. That's as low as it's gonna <clears throat> Yeah. Go. Okay. It was just a little like, I can hear that. <laughs> Mary Gear, Ebenezer Ear, Eve. Incident. Incident. December 1986. After completing the first ever Red Nose, Red Light Emitting Diode Based diode Navigation, based navigation overseas, overseas slash Earth, guided present delivery, St. Nick was accidentally discovered by Bob Cratchit while delivering presents to his small ca Camden, Town. Camden Town home. <laughs> Understanding the secrecy of St. Nick's Christmas deliveries, Cratchit agreed not to reveal St. Nick's existence on the condition that he assassinates Ebenezer <laughs> Scrooge, Cratchit's wealthy employer, and, and delivered to him <clears throat> and delivered to him the whole of Scrooge's savings. Cratchit explained that the <laughs> money <laughs> would, <laughs> would be put towards rehabilitating his crippled son, Timothy Tiny Tim. Cratchit. St. Nick's reluctantly agreed, and under the code name Naked Nick, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> set off to infiltrate Scrooge's mansion using an improvised stealth technique such as re reverse seeing is believing. <laughs> a technique that allowed Nick to be less visible to Scrooge's armed guards by wearing unbelievable costumes. <laughs> Nick slowly made his way through Scrooge's mansion during the mission he was Contacted by a mysterious tipster who referred to himself only as Snowbody Important, <laughs> who claimed to be a psychic capable of channeling the dead by channeling three ghosts, the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and those to come. Somebody, Snowbody Important was able to instill the Christmas spirit in Scrooge, giving him cause to donate some of his fortune to his employer, Bob Cratchit. Employee. However, employee. However, St. Nick discovered that Scrooge has been part of a shadowy organization called the Ha He Ho Ho Ho. He, lo <laughs> he, lo he located in a hidden passageway behind a bookshelf the blueprints for the Ha He Ho 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 <laughs> secret weapon, a piece of banking software called the SOP. Spirit of Progress. Oh, standard Take, operating procedure. Go mm -hmm. on. Taking these pl plans, St. Nick left the mansion undetected, never to be heard or seen again for another 20 years. I don't know if this is a game. If it wasn't a game, it. I already looked it up. There's only two Mer Mary Gear games I saw where this one... It doesn't say Mary Gear. It says... It, it, just, it says, says Mary Gear. No. Yeah, oh. Click on it. It says Mary Gear. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Mary Gear Solid. Yeah. Well, that writing well, was I, solid. I, it is. <laughs> well, okay. <clears throat> Mary Gear Solid, Secret Santa, Secret, Secret Santa, Santa Incident. Okay, okay. We've all saw this, but we'll just go through it anyways. The year is 2006, six years after the 9-11 attacks. <laughs> the nation is in high alert with military <laughs> surveillance, craft circling the skies, making traditional by-air Christmas delivery nearly impossible. St. Nick, under the codename Solid Santa, was advised by Major Tiny Tim to deliver presents by foot using various advanced infiltration techniques in order to make present deliveries un <clears throat> undetected. Upon reaching the house of 14015 Hideo Drive, 
St. Nick found an unusually large concentration of naughty children, perhaps harbingers of times to come. With the help of an anonymous tipster known only as Santa's little helper, St. Nick made his way up to the 10th floor of the house where the Christmas tree was set up and where he was to drop off his delivery. While making his ex, uh, exfiltration. Exfiltration. Because he was leaving. I got it. <laughs> St. Nick was held up by a legendary mercenary, Solid Snake, who had been hiding in one of the present boxes in St. Nick's gift sack. Throughout the mission, he revealed himself to be the, the true identity of the mysterious Santa's little helper. Snake explained that both St. Nick and Big Boss had been a part of the Los, uh, Los Bicotes <laughs> Perfectos project. A project initiated by President Johnson that aimed to bioengineer the perfect beard. <laughs> to do so required the creation of two clones, Jack, Outer Heaven's Big Boss, and Big Beard, St. Nick. Given the horrors of the Zanzibar land uprising <laughs> staged by Big Boss in 1999, Solid Snake was sent on a mission to find and eliminate Big Boss's clone. Big Beard. <laughs> Big Beard to prevent another such incident from happening. I'm trying not to laugh while reading this. <laughs> it's so excuses, excuses. like the guy did a good job. <laughs> this is written exactly like a Metal Gear. It, solid it really game. is. He did it. <laughs> that's why I was like, damn. He even he even took the Zanzibar land incident. Yeah. Saint Nick understood that this meant his assassination and submitted himself willingly. When asked if he had any last words, Saint Nick said simply, "Happy Christmas to all." And to all a good night. Solid Snake fired around to St. Nick's head, ending his life instantly. <laughs> it was only after the mission had ended that Snake was able to reestablish con uh, contact with Dr. Hal Otacon Emmerich. It was during oh. this conversation that Otacon revealed to Sa uh, Snake that he had discovered that St. Nick was not, in fact, Big Beard. Rather, that Big Beard's true identity was none other than famous musician <laughs> John Lennon. Who had been assassinated years <laughs> earlier? <laughs> what? <laughs> the U.S. government quietly covered up Saint Nick's assassination, taking possession of his corpse, and staging a great economic slump under the Bush <laughs> administration <laughs> as a means of explaining the sharp decline in overall holiday cheer. Oh my God! <laughs> These are so well done. That's so well done. Okay, we'll actually start the game now. <sighs> That was worth it. Yeah, that was really, yeah. Yeah, new game. Three years after the Secret Santa incident, we had classified information that a new Santa had taken power. The whole thing was naughty, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Same writers. Well, yeah, I would assume. Oh, um, no. oh no, oh no. You fool. Should I turn it up a little? Uh, maybe once. Just by one. Okay, everybody. Bear with. Okay. <laughs> down it goes. Back down it <laughs> goes. <laughs> a lot more people in this one. I, I think that after the success of the first one. <laughs> this feels like Die Hard. That little barefoot kid's out in the snow on the roof of a skyscraper. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Has Arthur Lee done anything else? I have no idea. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost of Christmas Past. <laughs> this is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. <laughs> Looks like the stocking stocking is busted. Ah, uh, what stocking stocking? The stocking you had me wear. You said it was made with synthetic octopus fibers that would make me nearly invisible to the human eye. You didn't really, <laughs> Snake. That was just an ordinary... Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. Well, I'm just happy you managed to get to the sneak point without getting yourself hurt. I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. Oh, you mean that thing with Naomi? No, I'm talking about Cole. 
How am I supposed to have a Merry Christmas if that's all I get these days? Well, Snake, it's been a while since anyone's had a truly Merry Christmas. What with the sudden surge of PNCs popping up around the world. PNCs? Pretty naughty children. Naughty doesn't even begin to describe them. They're more like hired mercenaries selling their services to the highest what? bidder. It used to be just a few rogue groups, but now it's become a global phenomenon. In fact, the world's seen the creation of at least a dozen PNCs in the past three years ago. <laughs> so it all started three years ago. That's about the time I assassinated Big P uh, Saint Nick. That's right. It's likely that Saint Nick's death lies at the root of all of these problems. After all, he did play an important role in the SOC system. <laughs> the, SOC system. the Spirit of Christmas system. A series of checks and balances created by the three wise men in order to maintain an equal balance of naughty. Oh my god. This is awesome. <laughs> the system in check. There hasn't been an incentive to be nice. That's right, Snake. We've dropped you off at Outer Savin Mall. Outer Savin? Yeah, you know, the one mall in which shoppers will always have a place. <laughs> I guess. I'm not just here to do some last minute Christmas shopping. Afraid not, Snake. This is so well done. On the U.S. government's encrypted security channel about an extremist group that calls themselves the Ghosts of Christmas Past. The information I've uncovered shows that they've got their hands on Santa's hat. What's so dangerous about a hat? And it's not so much the hat itself as it is the beliefs behind it. Whoever controls Santa's hat has full control over the SOC system. And whoever controls the SOC system has full control over the entire child population of the world. So what? The ghosts have threatened to use the hat to create a world of PNCs. A world of perpetual naughtiness. But it's anyone's guess as to what they're gonna do with it. It's got to be something big, something worth using the entire world's child population as a bargaining chip for. Something like... Metal Gear. No, Snake. There's absolutely no reason to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that the ghosts have arranged Metal a meeting sandwich. with the U.S. President. Metal Santa. Metal Santa. Your mission is to find out what's going on and to put a stop to the ghost's plan Snake? before the meeting takes place. Snake. Gotcha. For the duration of this mission, we'll be referring to each other by code names. What's wrong with my old code name? What? Old Snake? No. Solid Snake. No one's called you that in years. Yeah, but... Look, I'll let you decide for yourself. Would you rather be called Old Snake or Cold Snake? Uh, cold Snake, I guess. <laughs> Remember, Snake, the ghost has <laughs> Santa's hat, which means that any children you run into during the mission are under their control. Do whatever it takes to stay out of the enemy's field of vision. Got it. Head to the elevator. I'll be giving you advice and instructions via codec. My frequency is 012.25. Good luck. Wow. If Otacon doesn't cry in the middle he, of this. Yeah. <laughs> now you head inside. Wow. Press shift uh, uh, codec. Oh my two god. Two is I and Y. C is codec. Shift control. Walking action. Alright. Oh, Z is inventory. Oh. Okay. With distraction. And then C is. Oh. C is the codex. You're on the roof of Outer Saving Mall. <laughs> Find the entrance to the building in the northeast corner. He's going to cry. Oh, he better. <laughs> if they know Otacon. No, Otacon. Hold it, Snake. It's foolish to run head first into every situation. <laughs> By holding the He doesn't know how we play Metal Gear Solid then. <laughs> against it. Doing so will allow you to get a better view of what's up ahead. Can I hold the shift key near a kid? No, Snake. Stranger danger. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, they have a oh. That is so cool. This is you can always access me via codec by pressing the C button. I did. If you find yourself in a difficult situation, just give me a call. Do, 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 do. Mm, keep going. Cold snakes. So this is just like after Metal Gear Solid 4. He's doing a Christmas stuff. <laughs> He's just old. <laughs> <laughs> haven't been called Solid Snake in years. What's wrong with my old... <laughs> Old snake? <laughs> no. Oh. Um. Well. Gonna 
to the vent? That kid ahead is guarding that landing pad pretty carefully. You should try distracting him by knocking on a nearby wall. To do that, hug a wall with the shift key and then press the control key to make a noise. <laughs> Any nearby guards will come investigate the source of the noise. You can use this to open up a sneaking path. So I press control while hugging a wall and knock on it. Got it. Say, Otacon. Yeah? <laughs> knock, knock. Oh, what was that noise? Nerd. You're supposed to say who's there. It's just my imagination. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Oh my god, that was so good. Okay. Okay. Uh... Will he see me if I go straight across? I have no idea. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Should I do it here? If you do it here, oh yeah, search try it and then run right over to the right. I found him. Ah! <laughs> What's going on? Snake? Snake? <laughs> Snake! <laughs> Alright. Slow control, I have to press. I can't press enter. Oh, well, yeah. Ah! Ow! Well, I mean, it's not like I mean, it's just, <laughs> I mean, it's just like the same as the last one. Maybe you have you to go press slower it. slower on ice. That makes sense. Well, I know, but that's, I mean, that's something to consider. This kind of reminds me of Yoda stories a little. Oh, Yoda stories. Okay. What was that? Oh, Julia. Get in there. Come on, child. <laughs> Dang it. We're not even going to get off the roof, are we, for the we'll first episode? Off. We'll get off. Oh, Seven, minutes. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. We'll get off the roof. I got this. I got this. Uh, Otacon. I think I'm getting a little bit better on the solid snake voice. What about me for Otacon? Snake. Snake. Uh, a little more crying. <laughs> Otaku, snake. I don't know how you find love on the battlefield. <laughs> I like that they mentioned Naomi, too. Oh, maybe you should do it on the... Yeah. No, no, no. no. Oh. Uh, on to right. Go right. And then go up. No. Nope. Yeah, well, the wall right there, Julia. This wall. wall. Yes, that wall. Maybe if you could do it there, and then he walks oh, past yeah, where you're okay. in that little corner. Yep, yeah, there we go. Aha, aha. See? I I'll knew it. Me. Now you gotta run. Run, child. Excellent. What are you doing? I don't know. Julia. I know, I know. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I hope there's somebody invisible in this. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I noticed you sound a bit uh, different. More like you did when I first met you. You sound a lot healthier than you did in MGS4. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in the Middle East. Yeah, the Middle East is a dusty place. <laughs> Sand really does a number on your vocal cords. Whatever you say, Snake. <laughs> so stupid. This is great. This is this is awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, now you have field of vision. Oh yeah. Right. And that was a sleepy child, now so it didn't tired count. child. Child didn't know where he was. Oh no. It looks like you have to do it by pattern. About the Jolaton radar. No. The Jolaton radar is the thing in the upper right hand corner. I was already looking at it. It's based on the same Jolaton technology that allows shoppers to easily find the exact locations of the present they're looking for. Is my life just going to be full of ridiculous fooled. names? There's a big yes. difference between uh. the existing Jolaton technology and the special Jolaton radar you're equipped with. What's the difference? Well, the subtle swapping of the Y in Jollyton to an I in your Jollyton radar trickles down to its functionality. <laughs> Whereas the Jollyton radar could only detect Christmas presents, the Jollyton <laughs> radar is capable of detecting presents of any kind of <laughs> human presence. Bingo. I'm guessing that white dot is me. That's right. What about the red ones? Those dots represent an enemy's presence. <laughs> Watch out and stay outside of that enemy's field of vision. That's the blue cone, right? Yep. Also, you might have noticed the radar was unusable on the rooftop. Sometimes there's too much interference. In those cases, the Jolaton radar will be jammed. Oh, you think I can do about that? This is so I'm good. I'm afraid not. 
So you're saying this is a Jolaton radar that you made modifications to? Yep, a specially modified Jolaton radar. <laughs> I would have called it the Autoton radar, but... You sure this isn't just my old <laughs> Soliton radar? Because Mei Ling made no, that. No, not at all. <laughs> Look, Snake, we don't have time for idle chit-chat. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Oh. <laughs> Julia. I'm sure it isn't because you quit. Quit what? Well, you know, these things will kill you. <laughs> well, what I'm trying to say is that maybe your voice is returning to normal because you've stopped smoking. Look, Otacon, we all know the only side effects of smoking are the ability to see infrared lasers and a really slow drain of health. <laughs> Nothing permanent or irreversible. So long as you've got a few rations handy. But Snake, the Surgeon General... And how else was I supposed to know which way the wind was blowing atop that building in Zanzibar land? What? Oh, look, forget I asked. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so... Yeah, you gotta wait for the that kid. Go, Julie, go! Go! Dexter's family, go! Ah, oh, not a con. You can do it. You can do it, Otto. Gotcha. <laughs> Kid freaks out and he just says, gotcha. Yeah. So. Okay. Hold on. I'll go through there. Okay, so. Now! And there's a camera. Uh, uh, hug the wall? Hold on. There we go. Right, there we go. <laughs> a surveillance camera? It's a mall, Snake. Oh, right. Remember, these security cameras have a blind spot, so you can sneak beneath them without being seen. Okay, so... Wow. Okay, go, Julie. Down. Yeah! Very good. What's that vent? A vent? Hold up, Snake. Someone's conversation is being carried through the ventilation shaft. Have all the preparations been made? Yes. And the tadpoles have set up an ambush on the first floor. In case the meeting with the president goes sour. First floor. And where is he? We can he, do that too. Our third. What? Are you afraid he'll flake? I don't really trust him, but I've got no choice but to believe him for now. Without <laughs> belief, you'll never be able to inherit the title of Father Christmas. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I'll be heading up to the 20th floor. I just need a little time to cool off. You stay here and wait for the president to arrive. You hear that, Snake? The ghosts are meeting with the president on the first floor of the mall. You'll have to get down there to make sure things don't get hairy. Okay, so the person who made Starfall Christmas should have looked at this as an example <laughs> of a good game. I'm not saying you have to do the like same things, but your wow. jokes sucked. <laughs> yeah, the writing on this is on point. It is very good. For it is better than game, it's like, better than most writing writings in like movies the last five years. It's yeah. better than most of them. <laughs> I have a question, Joey. Yes. Does it sound like I am talking an event? You are. <laughs> Do you want to talk an event too? No, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> now let's destroy the president. <laughs> uh, oh no! We're With destroy the president. Sour candy. But the I president guess. of what? Macy's. Uh, good thing nobody else is talking in this vent. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it's a two-way vent. This is called an inner monologue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that should be about the end of this episode. <laughs> or close. Uh, it, it doesn't like at 2403, it seems to be the uh, cutoff point. So we really got like 20, 19 seconds left. Um, let's just, uh, uh, let's just the uh, clock here. Uh, we're just going to run out the clock. Uh, the clock uh, we're gonna do